We're back in the airport. Knock Hill on our way to Scotland. Let's get it. Big trip. Let's go. Flying to Scotland now. Let's go. Making progress. Okay. Six thirty in the morning. Tuesday or Wednesday? I don't even remember the day anymore. Been so much traveling, but. We're just not, I'm just not getting all, all my gear packed up. Well, that's close. That's not even gear. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's that early. But head to the track now. Long day. It's going to be a long day. We got from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. of just open track time. So uh, it's going to be a lot of riding. And the boss is not going to be happy if I say I'm tired. So I'm going to go get a couple coffees before we go and then send it so let's get it same dude vans always get squeaky I didn't get any on track video again. Three tests in a row, four te however many tests we've done in a row that I didn't get any on track. But I also really didn't get any in the pit stuff yesterday either because I was just trying to work with the team, trying to make some progress. So we were uh, struggling a bit yesterday, but towards the end of the day, we kind of made some changes to the bike that I really liked and we started really moving forward in the process. So. Um, I'm pretty pumped on that and today I'm just sitting here at the track. Uh, it was a two-day test, but we just weren't able to ride today. Um, so I'm just sitting here at the track watching everybody else ride, taking lap times and uh, checking it all out. First, baby. <laughs> the avocado is gonna bite. <laughs> what?
so I'm just on my way right now to uh, Starbucks. I'm gonna go finish working on this uh, last test video. Um, so from Knock Hill, basically, the, uh, the beginning of the test was good, but we were struggling a lot. I kept saying like, the bike feels very unstable. Like, whenever it would slide, it would be a very like harsh like uh, movement back. So I was really uncomfortable with that, and it, I, I just kept saying the same thing. Like, hey, the, the bike's very uh, basically what the problem was. It was sat too high, so whenever it would twitch, it would be real aggressive and harsh. So I was complaining about that quite a bit, and then we uh, lowered the whole bike. It instantly felt way better, and the lap time improved. So just a little, a little thing like that. I don't think we lowered it that much, but a little thing like that made a really big difference. So that was kind of like the difference between being towards the front and struggling being in. So made that change, and it's been getting better and better. Um, let me show you the next test done from Park. Pretty much right where we left off at Knock Hill. And to be honest, didn't make a whole lot of changes the whole test. So we uh, started playing more with engine brake maps, which is good because the bike was backing in a little bit too much. Even though we lowered it and it was backing in way less and just being a whole lot less twitchy, still the back end was too much. With, uh, even with the bike lowered. So um, we had to dial down the engine brake a little bit, make it a bit more smooth on corner entry. And yeah, that was the main thing with the Donington test. And I know me, I'm not a, I'm not a test rider. <laughs> I'm not even a qualifier. I'm, I'm a really good racer and that's about it so far. So we've been really working on that with the team as far as um, me basically like figuring out how I can put down fast laps in qualifying and practice so something that we're trying to fix something that we're constantly working on trying to improve so I'm sure we'll figure that out figuring the bike out step by step and uh, looking forward to round one coming up here next weekend so we're uh, pretty focused right now on uh, trying to fight at the front I think it'll be a great start to the year and just keep building and improving the whole season. It's a long season. That's a short, long season. So 11 rounds, two races a weekend. It's gonna be uh, busy and it's basically like almost back-to-back -back weekends. And then if it's not back-to-back, -back, then it's every other weekend. So it's a lot of racing in a short amount of time and it's gonna be a lot of work, but there's uh, nothing else to do. Just keep grinding, keep uh, Keep getting closer to the front and we'll uh we're gonna make it happen we're gonna get to the front and i know it and we're we're pretty close now it's just that little tick off them front guys so we figure that out and we're uh we're in the money so i'm not i'm not too worried about it i know we can make it happen i know uh, i'm confident in the team and the people behind me it's um it's just great having like a, a world championship caliber team behind me and and uh mechanics and my great sponsors the classic car club in manhattan evolve gt track days diamonds are forever luxar vip pirelli usa speedy or i everybody that helps me out it means so much to me and yeah there's just not a whole lot else to say just ready to get on with the start of the season i've been really working hard to keep my weight down and um, yeah it's been tough been real tough so I uh, finally got my weight down and now I'm ready to go racing so let's get it